Hello, everybody. This is, my name is JS from Samsung Memory. So I brought some the movie today. Okay. Oops. Okay. I will talk about the memory solution in SDDC application. It's my great pleasure here to present it. So in the opening ceremony of the US QCT's Cloud Solution Center. Okay, Quanta has been one of the world leading laptop ODM makers in the past two decades. And Samsung is very proud that we have partnered with Quanta through the support of the memory component. Under Quanta's unique technology and manufacturing expertise, QCT has started cloud solution center business. Since then, Quanta Cloud Technology and Samsung have cooperated together as business partners, joint validation in server memories, and also co-promotion of the high-density DRAM memories, and also it's a kind of the, it's a supplying the leading edge enterprise SSD would be a few examples. Okay, if somebody were asked to name one thing that dominates our life more than ever before, data would be the one of most popular answers. We have numerous connections, man to man, man to machine, machine to machine. Also, the object of transmission has evolved continuously it's from it's a kind of the data. So the transmission speed has increased from 2Z to 4Z, and we are facing the opening year of 5Z. As a result, so we are expecting around 10 billion devices to bring 190 exabytes of data traffic in 2018. So, so you know what? Five exabytes is the equivalent amount of all words and all the sounds that the human beings have ever made in the history. Huge, right? <laughs> so under this environment, software defined data center is getting great attention. And here goes Samsung's peer. Software defined data center utilize a set of virtual machines to process huge data traffic. The virtual machines are controlled by software and one can therefore minimize its physical server and storage. So huge DRAM memories and also fast storage play important role here. Okay, key focus of DRAM for SDDC. It's a mainstream DRAM density has been doubled from 16 to 32 gigabyte this year, mainly due to huge price drop this year. And also, this monolithic base, Samsung is going to introduce and prototype 16 gigabit single chip probably next year. For speed, it's a current DDR4 can achieve up to 2100, 2400 something this year. But the Samsung TSB technology can support up to 3200 Mbps. Power is also important. We have reduced the DRAM power from 2.5 down to 1.2 volt. It's probably is the, within a couple of years, DRAM power supplies would be down to sub one volt, then can match up the voltage of CPU. Okay, next one is SSD for SDDC. This one is very, very important for QCT, right? <laughs> for storage, every time, Samsung's base goal is cost reduction. Currently, 
is with the introduction of the 3-bit NAND technology, is that we could provide extremely low-cost SSD to the cloud market. Next one, performance. Compared to HDDs, SATA, and SAS interface, we have launched NVMe and also PCI Express SSDs to triple the performance. Storage space is also critical. This current M.2 SSD form factor could provide more than 99% reduction in size compared to HDD. You will see even more smaller form factor as we scale down the technology. All right, so all those benefits is as we have through the breakthroughs in three-dimensional VNAN technologies. So we are currently shipping 48 layers of the VNAN SSDs, and probably next year that could be 64. Okay, for VNAN, probably this year so we are going to launch 16 terabyte single SSD. Only Samsung commercially has delivered more than 8 billion gigabytes of VNAND SSD to the market since 2013. Okay, looking to the future, we are announcing the last of the new emerging memories. It's called SCM, the, such as page change memory and also register RAM and also the cross point memories. The important thing is Still, existing DRAM and flash technology still evolving to reduce cost. So you know what? It's a couple of years ago. Nobody has thought DRAM will cross 20 nanometers. But now, today, so we are seeing the last of the 20 nanometer DRAM product in the market, right? And also, the shrink will continue down to well below 10 nanometer. So this is a, a pretty important. It's because you emerging memories should catch up cost, right? It's because current DRAM and flash technology is moving target. So personally, I believe the catching up the current technology would be extremely difficult. It's about the it's a SCM still, it's a, there will be some chance. All right, this is my conclusion. If Samsung will never stop scaling existing proven DRAM and flash technologies. Samsung will do our best to support QCT and to deliver best core value to the end customers. Thank you very much. <laughs>